Hi everybody, it's Lon Seibin on behalf of Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run. In this video, we're going to explore the HD Home Run DVR software. We're going to show you how it works, how you can set up your recordings, how to manage those recordings, and also how to watch those recordings. If you're interested as to how to set up the DVR initially, we've got a whole series of videos about that as well that you can find on the HD Home Run support website. So let's get into it and see how you can start watching TV your way in your home. The HD Home Run DVR recording engine can run on PCs, Macs, some Android devices, and network attached storage devices. In this video, we'll be running it on a WD MyCloud PR2100 network attached storage device. So now that we have the recording engine installed on the NAS, we're going to load up the HD Home Run app to start watching some live television. Now, if you bought an HD Home Run tuner, this app is free for live television, but if you want to use the DVR functionality, you have to pay for an annual license to the DVR service. And once you do that, uh, this app will automatically turn into your DVR client also. It's very smart, just finds everything on the network and off it goes. And this will be the same interface, by the way, that you'll see on all of the other platforms that Silicon Dust supports with their devices. So all the uh, stuff here you're going to see will work the same across Windows, Amazon devices, and everything else. So right now we're watching live television. This is the Weather Channel. And because the recording engine is now acting as the intermediary for live television on my network, uh, we're only going to be using one tuner, uh, even if more than one person in my home is watching the Weather Channel right now. So basically everything is streaming into uh, the WD box here and then out to the client. So if my uh, wife in the other room decides to turn on the Weather Channel, we're not going to lose uh, two of our tuners to this activity, uh, just one because the tuning is all happening here inside of our NAS box. And this is a, a time-shifting application here. So while I'm in the live television, I can go in and pause it like I just did there. I can go ahead and start it back up again. And I can also uh, rewind live TV if I want to. So you've got uh, all the functionality here that you would typically find on a DVR, uh, yet it's running off of our own equipment here, the WD NAS and uh, the Android client here. Now to get into the DVR interface, all you have to do here is just hit the back button and that will bring us over to our uh, DVR menu. Menu here and I've got some recordings that I already made on the device uh, but this one here Judge Judy is actually still on air this is recording right now but I'm able to start watching uh, from the beginning even though the end is still being recorded so if you get home uh, maybe 30 minutes into your favorite hour-long show you can start watching immediately even while it is recording uh, the end of it so you can skip through the commercials perhaps and uh, get to where you want to go uh, I can also uh, leave it here uh, jump out and it's going to keep a bookmark as to where I left off. So you can see there's a little green line there. I can maybe fast forward a little bit here and get a little further into the broadcast. And if I uh, jump out here now, you can see that line is longer. So it's going to keep track of where I was uh, even with a recording that is in progress. Now they've implemented a couple different ways that you can discover content, both to watch live and record. And we're going to start within the DVR interface here, but I'll also show you another way you can explore content through the live TV interface. So the first thing we're going to do here is go up to discover using our remote here. So I'm going to click on that. And that's going to bring us up to uh, what is currently on television. So these are things that are airing right now on TV. You can see that we're still recording Judge Judy and Live PD here. Uh, but let's say I maybe want to record Ancient Aliens, for example. So I can go in here and it will pull up all the air times of Ancient Aliens that I might want to record. Now, if I go over here to watch now, it will go over to the live interface and start uh, tuning it live like we saw before. But if I want to record the series, I can just push my button here and uh, record the entire series. Now, what's happening right now, you can see, is that it's recording everything that is currently on the list. But if I go over here to Always, and hit the button to recent, uh, this will limit things to just episodes that aired in the last 90 days. So you can see uh, immediately it eliminated all this stuff because uh, this first episode, for example, here was broadcast initially in 2015. So even though it's airing right now, it wasn't made in the last 90 days and therefore is not going to record. There's also some smarts going on behind the scenes. So it remembers uh, what it previously recorded. So if it uh, recorded an episode maybe a month ago that then suddenly shows up as a rerun, it will not pick it up again. So even though that 
that one's 90 days or less than 90 days old uh, because it is something that broadcast already and was recorded it knows not to record it again so it does some things behind the scenes that you don't have to instruct it to do it's also going to favor the HD broadcast even though it's showing that it's going to record on both the HD and standard definition station uh, because these are both airing at the same time it will only go to the HD version of that show and again because it's going to grab season 12 episode 3 if that happens to show up again on that network it's not going to record it again unless we explicitly tell it to do so but let's say maybe we want to record the hidden empire here uh, that's going to air a little later I can just bring my cursor over to it uh, click on it once and that will record that individual episode for us so there is a good amount of intelligence at work here that doesn't require you to have to set settings it will uh, do things for you and assume you're always going to want the HD version of the show and also assume that you do not want to re-record anything that you previously recorded and you can also look ahead on what's coming up on broadcast television a little later so as I scroll down this list here you can see there are some timestamps and uh, these are all the shows that will begin at around 5 30 p.m. so you have the ability to look ahead there's another way to do this which you can do uh, by channel which I'll show you in a few minutes when we go back to the live TV interface uh, there's also a way to filter by content type so for example if I just want to see upcoming sports I can go to sports here and uh, they really neatly organize stuff so if I want to look for baseball games for example I can click on the baseball icon there and let's say I'm a Mets fan and just want to see upcoming Mets games well I can select one of these games here where the Mets are playing and it's going to give me the option here to record any Mets game coming up so it is smart enough to go out and look for that stuff so you don't have to go and remember to record it uh, we can set this thing to automatically record any Mets game when it comes on the air so that's pretty cool but I have a job to do which is to make sure I get all of my wife's favorite TV shows uh, ingested into this new recording engine before I shut off my old window those media server here uh, so I just went up to the search icon there I'm going to search for the first show that she wants me to record uh, which is Blue Bloods and what I did here with my remote was typed everything in uh, but if you have a keyboard connected to your device like a home theater keyboard or something you can use that uh, or what you could do and this might be the best way to do it uh, is run the HD home run client on your computer so you can type things in very easily and that will automatically sync up to the uh, WD my cloud here but it will also allow you to manage those recordings from any other client including ones that use a remote because it's all networked together which makes it really simple you can set up a recording on any device and all of the other devices will be able to benefit from that recording after it's done now I'm going to go over here to blue bloods and we're going to set this to record and I'm going to hit record series and I'm going to say recent and what that means is that nothing is going to get recorded because there aren't any recent episodes that are currently slated to air but that's fine because once one is ready to air it will pick that up and record it but one thing you have to think about is conflict management which is another important feature of a DVR and they've built that into this one as well so we've got this set to record now I'm going to go over here to tasks and you can see now uh, we have a few one-time recordings set up here which take priority uh, but I also now have a bunch of shows here so we have ancient aliens Star Trek The Next Generation and Blue Bloods now I want to make sure that my wife's show always gets recorded so I'm going to move this up on the priority list here and that way uh, if for example Ancient Aliens comes on at the same time Blue Bloods comes on and there's only one tuner available it will choose Blue Bloods over Ancient Aliens and there's certain priorities in this house and uh, that one is one that I will certainly enforce on here because I don't want her to miss her show if you are having many scheduling conflicts adding additional HD home run tuners to your network will automatically allow for more simultaneous recordings now if I want to adjust something uh, after that task has been created for example maybe I'm done with ancient aliens I can click on that task and I can reset the recording uh, strategy here so I can go from recent to all if I want uh, or I can just delete the task completely and take it off my task list and never record it again so you can see uh, how you can manage some of your tasks after you set them up to record so you can see there how you can adjust some of your active tasks to make sure nothing gets missed and uh, they also have a feature for padding so if you're noticing that your favorite show is maybe starting a minute or two earlier than they're specifying in the listing uh, you can adjust for that here so let me jump into uh, Star Trek the next generation for example and if you look over here in the right Right hand corner there's a start and end uh, buffer and by default it's going to give you 30 seconds before the start time and 30 seconds after 
uh, but you can adjust these to be as short or as long as you want. So you could add you know, two or three minutes to the start of the show and to the end of the show to make sure that you get it all. Uh, so if you're noticing there are some discrepancies in your listings on certain shows, you can adjust that manually here to apply to all future recordings. Now I did show you already how to play back a recording, but I wanted to show you some of the management of that now. So I'll go over here to our recorded section again. I'm going to click on the Judge Judy show because I have two episodes recorded in there now. And you can see we've got the one we watched earlier when it was going live. It retained that bookmark position. Uh, what I can do here is go back to the uh, little refresh icon and uh, restart it from the beginning if I want. So you can see here it is starting right from the very beginning of the recording. So that is in there. I'll go back over to it and maybe I want to delete this now so I can just click on the uh, trash icon to the right here and uh, when I do that I can set it to just delete the episode uh, or I can have it re-record the episode because maybe I got a bad recording, maybe something interrupted the show that I wanted to record. Uh, so the next time that episode airs, it will pick it up again. Otherwise, it won't because remember, it will never re-record something it already did. So we're just going to delete that episode uh, and move on there. So now I want to return to the live TV broadcast to show you another way to uh, find content on the DVR system here. This is their uh, live interface that you'll also get even without the DVR. And what you can do here, of course, is browse all of the uh, active listings currently on air. And if I wanted to see perhaps what was coming up on CNN a little later, I can navigate over to it. And then if I hit the right button, you'll see what they call the slice view up here. And I believe they patented this. And what you can do is go ahead here and maybe I want to record the 80s that's going to air a little later. I can click the button right on that. It's going to bring me right over to the listing for that show on the recorder here. I can hit record series and uh, grab it there as well. Now remember, this is a networked DVR. So all of the other devices in your home have access to everything that any other device does. So for example, uh, this little tablet here, because we're running the HD Home Run app, uh, has exactly the same uh, recordings that this NVIDIA Shield TV has because they're all networked together through the NAS. So I could go back to my uh, Judge Judy episode that we recorded earlier. I can click on here and start watching it just like I would on any TV in the house. Now, whatever device you use has to be in your home. This is a in-home solution only, but uh, you can even pull it up on a uh, mobile phone connected to your home Wi-Fi and get access to everything that you can get access to uh, from a television with the very same interface and it even retains the bookmarks too so if i uh, leave the playback here it will leave a bookmark and if i go back over to my television now and load up the uh, judge judy recording here you'll see that that uh, bookmark is retained from the earlier playback so that is the hd home run dvr a very robust way to watch tv where you want and when you want on the device that you want in your home this is lon seibin thanks for watching